Hello my diamond art friends, my name is Eileen and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are returning, thank you for your continued support and friendship. For this video, um, I wanted to show how I seal my, my budget diamond um, art, crafts, and canvases. Um, I have a lot of them that need, uh, not a lot, but several that need to be sealed. But what I was going to do was just show how I seal um, this little one, this partial, and um, if I can remember which one has, and a couple, not this one. I have two sets of coasters that need to be sealed. And a couple of the coasters I'm gonna give my friend. I figured we could seal a couple of those. And that will be my video. These also need to be sealed, but I'm going to wait until I'm done with the video for that. Um, I will show a couple other things that I, something I've used in the past for sealing and then something I've seen others use that I have not. I have bought diamond uh, painting sealer and like puzzle glue before. Um, and it came with like this little silicone kind of brush and um this is actually almost empty but I have used it when I first started sealing and it worked fine I've also seen some people like on TikTok videos and stuff they show that they use a Mod Podge now I have heard from others that that can turn your canvas yellow I don't know and then there is another person I follow on TikTok that uses the glitter Mod Podge I have not used that. What I use is something that I actually saw Diamond Grandma showing, which is the Poly uh, Min Wax uh, Clear, Crystal Clear Top Coat, and you have to get the clear gloss. And I buy this at Walmart. I bought a bigger one, um, and you have to make sure that it's the water-based one. They have different ones. Like I saw oil-based when I went and all that, but you want the water. Based, and this is what I use for my projects. Now this will tend to make your canvases a little stiff when it dries, but um, it is what it is, I feel like, you know, like, it depends on what you're gonna use it for too. If you're gonna put it, um, if you're gonna put it on like a stretch canvas or whatever, you know, it can be stiffer. Um, honestly, if you're gonna put it in a frame, stiffer is probably better anyway, but anyway. I'm gonna show um, just how I've done the partials in the past and uh, with this one that I completed at the end of 2023 and then I'll show how I do this one and then a couple coasters. Just, um, so you wanna make sure too that this is mixed up pretty good. I did mix it up and kind of tip it up and down before I um, went ahead and um, opened it but um, you just want to use a little bit. Now, sometimes I actually add a bunch and then <laughs> and then uh, kind of take the excess off. But just so I can kind of um, get, you know, my drills to adhere down, I'm just going to lightly brush over the drills with the, with the, gloss now you may not want like as much shine in the partials as you want but literally like for me because well I'm not I'm just gonna put this in my portfolio anyway I'm not gonna worry too much about you know if I happen to get it a little glossy in a spot it's not supposed to be or you know if I get it on the part of the canvas that didn't have drills but you can just kind of go around your, you know, if something's off to the side, or at least that's what I've done in the past. Now, if any of you out there have done this before and you know of an easier, better way, or, you know, you use something that's you find is more, um, that works better, let me know. I'm always open to learning something. I am no expert since I'm new to diamond painting. I just started last June and you know it's past June end of June so I'm not even quite you know I'm not even a year into my uh diamond painting journey um yeah 
So that's how I do it. You just want to go slow too. Um, you can if you, well, I didn't with this and I probably should have showed you. You can use your roller to make sure that all your drills are down. Um, and I'll show that, I guess, on the owl. I do have a little roller that I use. And you just want to be careful that it doesn't clump, you know, and like you get a whole lot somewhere. I've actually done it where I've been like in a hurry and it kind of left like some bubbles almost. And I don't know why I was in a hurry because I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> I think I'm just like everybody else. I want it done when I want it done and I don't want to have to wait and I don't want to have to go slow because I'm thinking about getting to the next thing. Well, the next thing sometimes can just wait. But I am going to be, sh I didn't get, uh, I forgot to bring mom her smaller sealer because I wanted to show her how to seal. I'm, I got her a smaller one of those to um, be able to seal her diamond paintings that she has here in Florida. Um, she has some diamond art sealer up in New York she uses for her other ones that she had done up there. And, um, yeah, so she uses, um, diamond art sealer that she bought. To me, it doesn't really matter if it's, I like this because it actually stiffens the canvas up a little bit and kind of lets you know you kind of got your areas, but it's okay. Um, I use the other stuff too for my, for several ones that I wanted to seal and they came out that it's sealed just fine. So, like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about making it perfect, but you can be a little bit more careful. Use a, a finer brush if you wanted. I'm not going to do that. I just want to kind of show how I brush it down. And then we'll... I don't do a lot of partials though, so um, I tend to give those to my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I This one I can remember when I was doing it, like it was fine. It just wasn't as enjoyable as when I do a, a uh, full drill canvas. So as cute as it came out, I was not like at all like, oh gosh, when can I do my next partial? And then there are people that are like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love partials. Give me another one and another one and another one. I don't even think I have very many in my stash now because I, I bought some thinking I should have some in my stash. And then I believe I gave them to my mom. <laughs> when she got here, I'm like, oh, mom doesn't mind doing these. So let me give her those. And she actually, the ones that she did have come out lovely. They really have. So I may have to, again, you know, look into getting some partials when I go through my stash again soon. Um, I'm not going to do it, go through my stash right at the moment because I just made sure I had canvases for the Paint with Friends events coming up, which I do. And um, that's all I wanted is to make sure that I had those. And then I didn't really pay much attention to any other canvases or, you know, what else I may have. Okay, I think I got them all. Nope, didn't get that one. Where that one? All right, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna like get too, like make it have to be too perfect just for the sake of the video, but yeah, you just kind of seal it and then let it air dry. All right, now for this one, let me just find out where my roller is over here. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to get this one a little bit lower. So it'll be easier for you guys to see. So you can take your roller. Just move that over here. You can take like your, your, your roller and just roll over to make sure that it is, all your drills are down and in place. And you can use, I've seen people use like, um, and I have never done it, 
is use like the uh, lint rollers too and check. I have not ever done that and I don't ever plan to do that, honestly. But what I do with these is I take some, you can start in your corner and start working your way down. I do a little bit past the canvas because it's always sticky there. And it kind of, when you go to put it in your portfolio or whatever you're gonna do with it, it takes that stick away. And then I just um, take my paintbrush and go down and make sure it doesn't get too clumpy in any area. And go nice and easy. And nice and slow. And um, this um, big can of um, polyacrylic will last quite a while. Um, for me, um, I don't, as I said, use it on any of my premium canvases. I have never sealed one of my premium canvases, but all my budget canvases, I seal. Um, and um, that's just because I worry that it won't stick. And that might be just me being a worrier and that it'll be just fine. As you can see, I'm kind of working it down so that like it doesn't clump or, you know, like have a lot in one area. Now I still might end up having that and I've actually gone over it when I've gotten done and kind of taken the excess off. And it doesn't really matter what way you go. You can go up and down, you can go, you know, side to side. I feel like there is no incorrect way, and I'll say this a lot, in order to do things when it comes to diamond painting, meaning your way may work for you. It might not work for the next person, but if it works for you, then it's the right way. And that's, I think, a good thing about diamond painting. Everybody comes up with their own way or can take part of one person's, like, way and maybe another person and it ends up being those two things combined or changed just a little work perfect for you and that to me is pretty kind of a pretty cool thing to be able to and i've tried you know some things that i've watched other other channels other people say oh i do it like this and i've tried it and it either didn't work and i didn't like it and oh well i tried it and then there are times, you know, I've done it and I'm like, wow, why haven't I been doing this the whole time? I will say what really I like is, you know, some people don't like to use parchment paper for their canvases, you know, overlaying their canvases. I actually, that's my preference. I don't like the clear paper, but again, what works for me doesn't necessarily work for the next person and that is okay. And um, yeah, so we're almost done with this one and then I'm just going to, like I was doing there, trying to see if there was any access I needed to brush away. Because I don't want it to be too clumpy and then I let them dry. And I'm likely only going to do this one and then the canvases and then save the other ones for tomorrow because I really want to diamond paint today. Last night I was afraid I was not going to have time or not afraid but I was concerned just with how my day had gone if diamond painting was going to be enjoyable for me but I was able to get diamond painting done and actually felt better emotionally, you know, when I got done, because I am using it to help with my anxiety and the bouts of depression that I go through. I don't feel it's anything I will ever hide from anyone anymore. And that I think comes with age as we get older, just kind of being okay with people seeing our flaws. Okay, so this is, 
gonna see if I can. I see a little bit of bubble. Oh well, it'll be what it'll be. It's going in my portfolio anyway. So this one I'm also gonna just kind of scoot over here for a minute while I take a couple of the coasters out. Now these coasters are a gift for a friend of mine. So we'll do two of them. And then what I'll do is I'll finish the, these two, go off, finish the other one, show you that they're done. And then that will be the video of how I seal. But if, as I said, if any of you have any fantastic ideas or a way that you do it or use something, I would love to hear it. I am very open to learning new things with diamond painting or you know something that may work for you because i would try it absolutely would try it and as i said these i am going to gift to my friend as soon as i can um get them done and get the backings on because it is black history month as we know and i want to celebrate that for her or let her know that um, I adore her and I think she knows that already but I think I want her to know that I will always be an advocate um, for her to be able to celebrate her diversity her different you know that would and honestly as much as she says she doesn't see a difference, I don't see a difference, uh, you know, but uh, others see a difference, so. In us. She is family and actually, um, she has been with me to uh, my nephew's wedding several years ago and she was, uh, my family knows, I don't do anything uh, without Cindy. So she has to be invited. <laughs> so they invite her. That's what good friends and she, she's our family. So as far as I'm concerned, she's as much my family as, uh, as my brothers and sisters who I share DNA with. Okay, so then we're going to do one more. And then uh, we're going to let I'm going to come back after I finish the other ones just so that you can see that they're done. And I will have them dry. And then I will do a video later showing you all what it looks like when they're dry because it doesn't take long for them to dry. So I'll be able to film that tonight before I head to bed because right now it's a little after five. And I may... Um, see if I can hurry up and get some dinner going and see if I, um, can join a wise, um, Zoom. Um, it just depends. I'm waiting on a call from my boyfriend too. We always talk a little after five and I am on airplane mode right now. So if he tries to call me, which is our normal thing, he will not be getting me because I am filming. Also wanna make sure that I don't get too much extra. I think I'm being a little extra on this one. Yeah, I was being a little extra. I am, oh. Also gonna kind of oh I don't want to do that I want to just kind of make sure I get the sides so that's not sticky either which I think I got them just gonna brush up and down one more time just to try to get some of that excess off I don't need just so that it's not clumped up okay so let me go ahead and finish um getting the rest of those posters done i'll come back to show you that i've got that done and then later i'll film what everything looks like once it's dry so i'll be right back okay so i have them all 
um, sealed up or, you know, in the process of drying. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and let these dry for a couple hours and then let along with those canvases and come back and let you see them completed or you know dried and I'm gonna hopefully be able to get those uh cork backings on there so it'll be absolutely complete so I'll see you guys back here in a couple hours for me but just a second for you I'll be back okay so I'm back it's been about two hours uh two and a half hours um it's these have been dry for a while. So I just wanted to show them. I am gonna lift them up just because it gets darker, the camera. But as you can see, it doesn't lose its shine. I sealed it. Here's the small one that I sealed. Still shiny. There's no stick on the side because you know how I told you, you just do over the side and it takes that stick away where there was some extra tape. But it also doesn't lose its shine. It's still shiny. And then I got the coasters all set um, as well with the backings on. But here are those. And you can see they didn't lose their shine either. So they're still super cute and super shiny and gorgeous and ready for Cindy. Her gorgeous uh, women of color coasters. Yeah. Oh, so these, so that is how I seal um, using the uh, Minwax Polyacrylic Clear Gloss. But again, if um, anybody has a different way, I'd be happy to learn that way and uh, have you tell me about it. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to be notified of all my future video uploads, please hit that bell notification. I hope you all have a nice day or night, whatever it is for you. Take care, happy diamond painting, and until my next video, bye.